In this video, we will learn chemical bond in the context of organic compound. The basic chemical units are atoms, ions, and molecules. Why they are called the basic chemical units? Because chemical substances, elements, and compounds are assemblies of either molecules or atoms or ions. And molecules are composed of atoms. For example, gas consists of molecules which may be mono, di, or polyatomic. In the gaseous state, they move at random motion as there exist a minimum cohesive forces among them. On the other hand, liquid state and solid state contain atoms or ions or molecules. Therefore, the basic chemical units are atoms, ions, and molecules. Now the question is how do they remain together? The answer is the attractive force amongst themselves holds these units together. So the forces that hold atoms or molecules or ion together is called chemical bond. So chemical bond can be classified into four categories. They are ionic bond, covalent bond, metallic bond and hydrogen bond. As we are reading organic chemistry here, so we will mostly focus in covalent bond. Covalent bond is a force that holds the atom together by sharing of electrons. These shared electrons remain in between the two nuclei of the bonded atom. Covalent bond can be achieved in two ways. First, sharing of electrons between atoms of same kind, for example, hydrogen, chlorine, oxygen. Sharing of electron between different kind of atom like CH4, methane, H2, water, NH3, ammonia. For example, in chlorine molecule, two chlorine atoms are bonded with each other by a covalent bond. And this covalent bond is made of two electrons equally provided by each chlorine atom. Atomic number of chlorine atom is 17. Its electronic configuration is 1s2. 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p5. So, the outermost shell electronic configuration of chlorine is 3s2, 3p5. That is, in the outermost shell, 7 electrons are present. So, both chlorine give 1 electron each and they form covalent bond. And this bonding electron pair is equally shared by both the chlorine atom. And thus, each of the chlorine atom attain the electronic configuration of noble gas argon and become stable. Covalent bond can be classified on the basis of number of shared pair of electron and organic compounds. On the basis of number of shared pair of electron, it can be categorized into three types. First of all, single bond, double bond, and triple bond. We find single bond in methane. CH4, H2, water, and H2, hydrogen gas. Here you can see the covalent bond in HCl molecule where one electron each shared by both hydrogen and chlorine and forming covalent bond between them. In oxygen and C4H4, that is acetylene, you will find double bond. Here, two electron pair is shared by two electron shared by each carbon atom forming double bond and in nitrogen gas three electrons shared by both nitrogen atoms forming a triple covalent bond on the basis of organic compounds covalent bond are of three kind first of all sigma bond a sigma bond is formed when bonding orbitals overlap along their axis, that is, head to head overlap, occurs in sigma bond formation. The axis, which is an imaginary line joining the two nuclei, is known as bond axis. It has cylindrical charge density around the bond axis and hence symmetrical in nature. Generally, all single bonds are sigma bonds and they are very strong due to their head to head overlap forming cylindrical charge density. Here you can see two s orbitals overlap along x axis forming sigma s s covalent bond and the charge density is about its bond axis forming a cylindrical shape. Next, here you can see 
1s orbital overlaps with px orbital forming sigma sp covalent bond and here the charge density is 2 along the bond axis forming a cylindrical shape. As the charge density is along the bond axis, it cannot be broken easily. Then move on to pi bond. A pi bond is formed by the side to side overlap of two parallel atomic orbitals. The electron density of pi bond is not cylindrically symmetrical around the bond axis but is distributed above and below the bond axis. Here the plane containing the bond axis has no charge density. That is why P bond is easy to break and it is weaker than sigma bond. It is generally found in all double and triple bonded system. For example, you can find it in ethylene where exists one sigma bond and one pi bond. In acetylene where exists one sigma bond and two pi bonds. So, make sure that whenever you see a double bond or triple bond system, you will find one sigma bond and one pi bond or one sigma bond and two pi bonds respectively. Next come banana bond. A diagonal or oblique overlap of two atomic orbitals produces bent bond or banana bond. So this type of overlap is neither head to head nor side to side overlap. It is intermediate between two types. The charge density along the bond axis is very minimum and hence banana bond is weak. It is generally found in strained organic compounds like cyclopropane, oxidane, etc. Here you can see the image of cyclopropane and this is the banana bond which I have discussed now. In cyclopropane, it is not possible for the carbon atom to assume the 109 degree bond angles with standard sp hybridization. That is why they are compelled to form sigma bond having bond angle of carbon 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 is 60 degree. So the orbitals which form sigma bond overlap not along the bond axis but a diagonal or oblique overlap is observed. As a result this newly formed sigma bond will have banana like shape that is bent shape. For that reason banana bond is called bent bond. This banana bond are very much weak and very much susceptible to cleave. Actually this is a new type of sigma bond formation due to the strained ring structure. This bond has more P character than S character. Thus, every carbon carbon bond behaves like pi bond. That is why cyclopropane is too reactive in nature and it reacts readily to get its stable form. Thank you for watching. If you have any doubt or anything that you cannot understand through this video certainly ask me in the comment section i will try to clear those doubts making another video thank you for watching